Hi, in this video we'll be uh, discussing about the bug bounty programs. So basically, uh, the bug bounty programs are uh, announced by many top companies. Um, these bug bounty programs, the reason behind conducting the bug bounty programs are uh, two reasons. One is to uh, uncover the unknown vulnerabilities. So where the uh, organizations uh, invite the uh, security professionals or the uh, ethical hackers to attack their own network so once they found any vulnerability so they can uh, report it to the uh, respective organization so that the organization will reward the uh, particular uh, uh, ethical hacker with uh, cash reward or uh, many more and the other important reason behind conducting the bug bounty programs or to uh, um, to uh, uh, track or to record the attacker patterns because uh, day by day uh, the attacker pattern uh, is going to uh, change or it varies uh, based on the uh, application or based on the uh, uh, technology involved or based on the new uh, 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 new mechanisms getting introduced so where the uh, organization should update their uh, security their, to improve their security uh, they'll have uh, devices like IDS or IPS so where these IDS or IPS has to be uh, improved of, uh, to uh, get alert from the latest uh, type of attacks If a real attacker uh, comes up with a new new mechanism or new methodology to attack the network or the corporate environment so where uh, their uh, internal devices has to uh, detect such kind of uh, new mechanisms or new methodology of attacking so to the it's again uh, uh, going to be a important thing for the organizations to uh, keep their uh, uh, ideas or ips uh, up to date so that uh, if there is any uh, new type of attack is introduced or new new type of uh, attack is launched so their uh, ideas or ips will be able to detect such kind of uh, attacks so the uh, as i said earlier basically the bug bounty programs uh, have uh, uh, two reasons one is to uh, uncover the uh, unknown vulnerability the other important reason is to record the new attacker pattern so basically uh, through these programs uh, organizations uh, uh, invite the independent researchers to discover and report the security issues that affect the confidentiality integrity and the availability of the uh, customer or the company information and for the uh, uh, reporting of uh, security issues so the concern uh, uh, pro professional or the individual who is going to uh, uncover the vulnerability is going to be rewarded uh, with uh, uh, a cash money or something like that so for this uh, bug bounty program i'll uh, explain you with a uh, with a website so through which you can um, participate in the bug bounty programs so here uh, i have a site named bugcrowd.com so this is one of the uh, uh, a website which uh, publishes or which conducts the uh, bug bounty programs so uh, in this site you can go to the programs so where you can see the list of companies uh, which is participating in the bug bounty program so here you can see many companies including many top companies like indeed even tesla and uh, netflix so like this many companies um, or uh, even OLX group you can see here and uh, let me load more result so I just want to point out some of the famous websites uh, you can see here Netflix so being a, a security researcher or an independent uh, a penetration tester so you can um, participate in this uh, programs so through which you can uh, 
uh, earn money also uh, obviously you, you can uh, improve your technical skills also so because you just like that you cannot try to uh, attack or you cannot try to uh, uh, penetrate any uh, organization without their approval so where this kind of uh, uh, companies where they are voluntarily uh, uh, inviting the uh, attackers to uh, 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 uncover the vulnerability here you can see the mastercard is also uh, registered with this website for uh, uh, bug bounty program so as i said earlier so you can uh, use this uh, bug bounty programs so you can uh, do more uh, research and you can improve your skills obviously you can also uh, earn more money through this uh, even tesla is also uh, uh, into this uh, let me search for that if even if you know any particular company you can search for that particular company let me search for tesla and here you can see so tesla is also uh, into this program and uh, further you can see here uh, per vulnerability you are going to be uh, paid or rewarded uh, be between minimum hundred dollar to the maximum fifteen thousand dollars and you can see the program details of where they have given the uh, information about their uh, organization so where uh, we all know tesla is a company uh, of manufacturing the electric vehicles and uh, here you can see the range so they have uh, four categories uh, in scope target p1 p2 p3 and p4 so if you find any p4 vulnerability you, you'll be rewarded between hundred dollars to two hundred dollar for P3 vulnerabilities, $200 to $500. For P2 vulnerabilities, $500 to $3,000. And P1 vulnerability, $3,000 to $15,000 is going to be rewarded to you. And uh, any uh, uh, bug bounty program you are participating in, so you need to uh, go through the uh, rules, program rules completely. And also, you can uh, you need to go through the in scope. Uh, you can see here so scopes and rewards you can see so these are all the urls that you need to target so any url which is not inside this scope you shouldn't target and also you can see here out of scope so these are all the urls you shouldn't target if you target if any of these urls obviously uh, you you might be legally penalized and uh, also you can see the focus areas so what are all the areas you need to focus and also you can see the finding type of uh, uh, specifically out of scope so when you find any vulnerability in this area so those are out of scope of this program and uh, also you can see here if you find any RC vulnerability you'll be rewarded $10,000 and if you find any SQL injection vulnerability you'll be uh, rewarded between 500 to 10,000 for cross-site scripting vulnerability you'll be rewarded between uh, 100 to 1000 dollars for a cross site request forgery so you are going to be rewarded between 100 to 500 dollar for authentication bypass you'll uh, uh, be rewarded for 10000 dollar and a horizontal privilege escalation you are going to be rewarded with 500 to 3000 dollar and also for vertical privilege escalation you are going to be uh, rewarded by 500 to 10000 dollar or vehicle or product related vulnerabilities so case to case you will be rewarded up to fifteen thousand dollars so you go through the uh, scope in scope and out of scope and also go through the scope area completely and then you you proceed further and also you can see the announcements so if there is any new announcement by the company you can see here okay so this is how you can uh, take part in the bug bounty programs so you can choose any of the company which is listed here so let me show you with another example let us search for uh, maybe let us try with indeed and here again you can see these are all the in scope targets and go be, be very conscious uh, while handling the URLs do not touch any out of scope URLs and here uh, they are listed some new uh, added in the scope areas 
and also you should be very clear on the out of scope target so don't uh, uh, target or don't work on any out of scope uh, urls so and also you can see here what are all the vulnerabilities that comes under the ten thousand dollar category and the uh, vulnerabilities which comes under four thousand uh, dollar reward so again go through the program rules very carefully and uh, take the proceedings further based on the understanding and that's what for uh, understanding of the uh, bug bounty programs and uh, we'll discuss the remaining topics in the upcoming videos until then bye bye